Hey, what's up survivors? My name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. So glad you're here and hope you're doing well. Got another seven day to die video for you, but today I'm not doing a tutorial, just showing you something cool that I did and thought it might be worth sharing in case somebody else wanted to kind of do it or add to it. Using a garage to be able to store your motorbikes or a shop or something like that is really easy, of course, because it's already there. But I decided I want to make mine a little bit more secure. So I built mine underground. So what I did was I dug out a tunnel, roughly about six blocks wide, three blocks deep, and I think about seven blocks long here. And then I set a drawbridge down even with the ground. Underneath it, put a few spotlights in here so I can light it up pretty good, parked my motorbikes in here, and now I can come and go, and everything's parked underground. And then all I have to do is just close the door when I'm not using it, and it closes flush with the ground, so it'll be harder for the zombies to get in and out of. So, it's technically hidden, even though you have these giant hydraulic pumps on the sides here. Surely nobody will see those. But anyway, this is something I thought was just kind of fun to have. It really doesn't change or benefit you other than just it gives you a little protection. And I guess if you're in a panic, you can hop on your bike and then haul biscuits out of the out of the uh, garage down there and take off and go about your merry little way. And then, of course, when you're ready to come back home, you just have to make sure the door is open. Because you can't interact with the door while you're on the bike, so you have to drive all the way down in it to make sure you're inside. Then you can get off and you can run up and close it that way. And uh, you only have to have a two block clearance between here and here, so I didn't dig out any further. So you don't have to try and have some epic little door system going on here. And it's too wide to put a garage door here. I thought that might be kind of cool to have a, an actual swinging garage door. But it's about one space wider than what the garage door can fit because it's not the same size as the drawbridge. So anyway, this was something just very simple I thought was kind of cool looking, thought I might want to share with you guys. And of course, if you want to trim the weeds up around there so it's not so cluttered looking, you can. But anyway, if you have any questions or comments or if you know of a better way to do this, you know, definitely leave it in the comments down below. I truly appreciate that. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button because you know I do appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Thank you guys so much for your time. You have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later.